Hello, welcome back to Divergent Reactions. Now, today on the channel, we've got another appearance from Ren, and this is Sick Boy. Now, I have had so many requests off my last Ren reaction to do another one, because like I said in that video, I don't normally do British reaction videos, but this, I don't know what to call him, artist, genius. Um, he's, he's so inspirational, and especially as myself, as somebody who is a mental health advocate and neurodiversity advocate, I, I feel this is a topic that I can really get behind in a, and a, I, want, I hate the term agenda, but the whole concept of his music is something I can really contribute to, I guess, in terms of our reactions, more so than some of the other stuff I listen to. Um, and maybe, maybe I can contribute a little bit more than some of the reactors because of my experiences, my shared experiences both personal and with family. So this one has been recommended. There's loads of them have been recommended to me. And I promise you guys, I will get through them all because I want to get through them all. And I I just need to find the time to do them all. But I will. I'm staggering them out. So let's get stuck in. This is Sick Boy Ren. In case you guys haven't noticed, I do have some ticks as well, vocal ticks. So you're going to have to excuse them. But <laughs> it's part of being neurodivergent. Hi Ren, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is making music. Wow. Okay, before we've even got any kind of... We've just got that monologue at the start about trauma response. Um, so, wow, yeah, absolutely. You know, we. I'm not medically clued up enough to know about it, but um, from a personal level, you know, I, I, I feel a bit of a... What's the word? Probably time for me to open up a little bit, I guess. Um, last couple of years, I've gone through my own personal issues with a separation and a sort of midlife crisis and a breakdown and everything. And even though I never had any traditional trauma in my upbringing, I'm very open about the fact that I had a pretty good upbringing. My trauma has come from um, a combination of not knowing I was autistic and had ADHD and all the rest of it. And also, um, and, and not understanding my place in the world in that respect. And also kind of, the 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 the, tra the life crisis that have been thrown at everybody, um, COVID, losing jobs. I graduated in two thousand and eight from university, so to to go through university to be told there's no jobs there, soul destroying, from a career perspective, all that kind of thing. You know, all these different kinds of trauma. Inherited trauma is another one that I didn't know about, where you inherit the trauma of your parents if there is any. So these trauma responses, even though. In my case, they're certainly not as extreme. Um, I've seen them in myself and other people. It's not a pleasant place to be. Um, I have family members who are hypochondriacs, and I'm confident that is down to their own personal illnesses and and sort of almost like a need to control the the because that because of what they've been through in the past. The the fear is there of getting ill and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's definitely. It's very this is very real also let me know if that monologue is actually scripted or if it's from a passage or something or it's like a quote from a, you know, a website or anything like that because it's it's fascinating fits all the music quite well i've also noticed this feels like a follow-on from iron with the video or the other way around. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy. Looking for that fix boy. Anabolic steroids, them sell. Post a boy, pass out. White noise, quick fix, snake oil. I'm about to break boy. Oh, what a shame, he's in pain. Have another go. Take 
take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Derealization, medical patient, losing patience with the process. Walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medication. Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Right, before he does that. Again, this is artistic interpretation. So bear with me if I'm wrong. But this idea of the therapist, assuming she's playing the role of the therapist, occupational worker, whatever the whatever it, whatever medical professional it is, is is the the very and the idea of the flickering between the girl in the chair and the what can only be described as pig slaughterhouse pig but like butcher pig whatever it is pig man anthropomorphic pig it's kind of like uh, there's a slaughterhouse reference there the idea that those that are supposed to heal us hurt us just as much like this whole concept and it is deep this whole concept of the therapists are there to on paper there to help us and they do but in the con they help us in the context of being able to function in this world and get to the bottom of our problems now if you've ever seen a therapist which i have you'll know that they can take you places before you get to where you need to be and it's that flickering in his mind of like this person's like the, the flickering of the, the the pig is like the it's almost like a not devil on shoulder like the other song but like it's um it's out to get him and it's like exposing his vulnerable side and it's it's like an enemy like a danger so that's probably why in some cases like the, in terms of, in terms of like the flickering emotions of speaking to a therapist that that is that is an incredible artistic representation and very accurate um very accurate Feel like it's not me, it's the world that's sick We're given everything we need and we commoditize it We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in I'm not sick, we are sick We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress We jump off the precipice I'm not sick, I'm the virus, you're the virus hypocrite How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy Record label meetings that come on fire your gift boy Why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke Walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke Sorry, I was I paused it too early, I didn't have Um, yeah, I love that, I love it I love it. It's, it's, it's obviously calling out the... It's like I said, it's kind of that whole idea that we're taught what is good for us and what is bad for us and what... Like, this whole commoditizing creativity. And do you know what? You could argue that's kind of what we're doing now. You know, I'm reacting to videos and putting them on the internet and you watch them and then people like them. And sometimes there's money involved and sometimes there's not. And, you know, everybody's got a hidden agenda and all that stuff. And, you know... I, I I react to videos because I watch people react to videos and then one day I went, why am I not doing this myself? Like, <laughs> but even then, there's an agenda. Everybody has an agenda and he's absolutely right. And we've been naive to think that that's not the case. I've always said before that... Be careful I word this. In an ideal world, we wouldn't need charity. Charity wouldn't be a thing. You shouldn't need charity. And I said it in a previous video that I've just recorded. Okay, it, it will come out before this. Only a reverse one. The idea of division, you know, creating a division is the secret to a democracy is division because you have choice. 
And if everybody unites as one, then there's no choice. But then you still need difference for everybody to be different and unique and embrace that. So it's a really interesting mash of ideas that all come together. As just... And he does such a good job of portraying, in terms of in the inner monologue, Ren does an amazing job of expressing that, what I would say internally. Whereas Ronnie, I think Ronnie Radke, because they're very similar in that respect, actually. Ronnie Radke does it more from like a, he talks about his personal experiences, but he does it more from an external perspective. I feel like it's more of a, I feel like it's more of extroverted in him. That's him telling us how he feels. Whereas with Ren, it's very introverted. I feel like with Ren, I feel like I'm watching his experience rather than Ronnie's, like Ronnie Radke from Falling in Reverse, being told as a storyteller. Ronnie's a storyteller, whereas Ren's more of a, um, a communicator, I guess. It's making sense in my head. It's not coming out here. <laughs> as the people evolve, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence is like a behold. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for wealth. We bleed it for fame. But when you bleed it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? And I'm bleeding myself. I bleed in my brain. While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason. Because I'm doing the same. So good. So good. He's so good. Everything about him is so good. The whole anxiety that comes with, like, he says about wealth and fame. He says wealth, fame and stuff, but, like, fame is a commodity. Wealth is a commodity. Um, you've probably all heard it. Data is a commodity these days with digital digital data. You know, I work in... I'm a freelancer. I'm a writer, an article writer, and I run my own blog, and data is everything. You know, even YouTube, data is, you know, data is everything. Um... So it's really interesting to see, but I also come from both sides of it. So even though like, um, there's a commodity, I can see the value in it for me to grow my business. I can also see the other side of it. It's like, who, you know, it's the idea that, you know, your data is yours that you have, um, control over. That's what it should be at least. So yeah, that's a topic for another day, I think, but drop me some comments and let me know your thoughts on this. Cause that Ren is just a man. He's just a genius. And, Everything he everything he does is just next level. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing more of his stuff. So please let me know in the comments which ones I should react to next. I know you guys have dropped me loads of comments already. Keep reminding me because I will forget because that's the ADHD in my brain. But yeah, thank you for watching and please stick around and watch another video and playlist and subscribe and all that stuff.